welcome to our, our channel. channel. <laughs> For some reason, she said it's our channel. It's not my channel. Mommy is all of us channel. Okay. Elsa said. Okay, so Elsa said it's our channel. It's not mommy's channel anymore. So it's our channel. For some reason, we didn't go to church today because we had a lot of snow. So the church was we'll see the snow. church was cancelled. Can you come sit over here? That was Elsa. Yeah, that was me. Alright, church was cancer, so we couldn't go to church today. So I decided uh we're gonna do a mother daughter video today. Yeah. Yeah, it's my channel, it's not your channel, it's my channel. Okay, so why are my glasses? I really can't see very well. Can you oh. go get can you go get my glasses, please? Okay, I will. This one. Thank you. Okay, I can see better. So today I want to talk about the experience I had with Kameko Airline. I was supposed to be in Bamenda. I, I had actually, guys, I went to Cameroon. So from um, Douala to Bamenda, it's probably like eight hours, um, eight hours driving. And I didn't see myself driving for eight hours because of the bad road and everything. So I decided to take the plane. And it's my first time taking this airline. I tried to buy my ticket here in, in Boston, but for some reason, they, I couldn't buy the ticket. They told me I had to go into their office to buy the ticket. So I decided to send my sister to get the ticket. Are you sleeping? So I decided to send my sister to get me the ticket. Um, When she went to... um. Get the ticket they told her it was thirty five thousand for the ticket and um she told she told me she got that she did a reservation and everything and they gave her a conf con confirmation number that she sent me conf confirmation number so after she sent a confirmation i was like okay she probably bought a ticket because i didn't understand why they're gonna give her confirmation later when i she hasn't paid for it so i flew to Camer cameron and i think like two days before i had to travel i'm like okay can you send me the detail again she's like oh you haven't paid for the ticket. i'm like but you send me the confirmation number she's Mommy, like we have a could you go get me the ticket because i have to be tr i have to fly we in the next three friend. days so she went to the, um she went to the office Mommy, and eva i can't do my video because you're here do you want to go to your room the flight went up to 58,000 I'm like 58,000 I didn't want to get mad I'm like anyway it's still hundred dollars it's fine can you please get me the ticket she got the ticket and I'm like what was the reason they gave me like because all the plane was full that was only that was the only seat that was available I'm like, okay no problem got the ticket okay so it was showing that we um departure time was 9 30 in the morning so I was living in Limbe and I had to leave from Limbe to Douala to take the flight. So I would say um, check-in was at 7.20. So I decided, okay, I'm going to leave Limbe probably like 6 o'clock. Sorry, 6, yeah, 5.36 so I could get to Douala on time. So I left Limbe at about 5.30. We drove to Douala. I got to Douala probably like 7 o'clock. Fortunately for me, there was no traffic on the way. I got to the airport like five, um, seven fifteen. Got into the um, airport, went in, showed my, um, tried to check in and everything. Checking at the first level, I think the first stage where you go checking, giving your box and everything. I did that. It was fine. So the guy the lady the people at the front desk did everything for me then they told me um you don't have to go through security i just have i could just walk through and i go into my go into the waiting area where they're gonna tell us to go into the plane so as i was going in um i don't know if, like i got into i passed that first one went into the second one and we got now like we, we got into the part where we're supposed to get into the I don't know. There's this security, whatever. There's so many securities in, in, in that airport where you don't understand where what they're doing and why they're even there. So I got to this one now. You know how you have to pull your bag, it goes through, blah, 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 blah. But this lady in my front, she had a, I think, the same Mac passport. She got, she showed her passport, showed her handbag, and everything was fine. She went in. She didn't, no, she didn't show her handbag. She just had a handbag. She showed her passport, her, uh, her boarding pass, and they're like, okay, you could go. 
came to my tent i showed my passport and i knew they were just going to ask my passport and my boarding pass because that was what happened with the guy the lady in front of me so for some reason this lady this guy is like okay you could go so this lady walked in she noticed okay my passport she's like oh ma'am can you come back so when i came she's like can we see your backpack i'm like okay so i'm like but this lady just passed you guys and you guys didn't check her backpack she's like mom do you want to teach us our job i'm like sorry so i get them my backpack i started going through everything and i had this paper in my body in france so she's like mom you can't go through with this perfume i'm like really she's like yeah i'm like why she said because it's too big for the airline <laughs> it was just so funny i'm like really she's like yeah so you have to leave it i'm like okay mom i said i left france i got into the plane with this nobody bothered me and i come to come on you guys want to bother me i said madam you see this perfume is going to go with me i'm not going to leave it here because i haven't seen i didn't have any problem with me flying from france to cameroon with this perfume it was in my hand location nobody bothered me so i'm not going to see the reason why you're going to bother me you see this perfume i'm going to go she's like oh madam you don't want to come yet you, you people leave your america you think that you have the right you want to come to this country i'm like i'm not going to deal with this this morning i have a plane to catch and i'm praying god i don't miss my like i kept just packing my things in like just putting my things so this guy the guy the way the guy was looking at me i'm like i was so serious i wasn't even smiling at anybody i just kept putting my things inside i'm like mom thank you for wasting my time but i had to go in my, the woman was just looking at me like who the hell is this girl i i was so serious i'm like mom this perfume is going with me i don't care what you say i'm going with this perfume so i got into it went into the sitting room it was probably like eight something i was 8 50, 8 30 this lady just walking and she's like oh we're so sorry um your flight has been delayed for two hours so you guys will leave at 11 o'clock in my mind i'm like anyway it's just two hours it happens what are we gonna do so i have just decided i decided to just walk around the airport i had even eaten so i went to look for food Oh Lord, Cameroon, and I better be able because your airport. Eh, Jesus. I won't tell you guys that there was. Mm -mm. I went to the part where they eat. <sighs> mm. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that. Finally, I got back to the um, waiting room, probably like. What time was it like 11 like five minutes after 11 still no plane everybody was sitting people were already tired and everybody was just sitting down 11 30 nothing 12 o'clock nothing about six minutes six minutes after 12 some guy just walked in and like hi uh we're gonna start um boarding in the next six minutes in my mind i'm like wait did it just happen like i was just looking everywhere like the, the people everybody was quiet and i was like wait these people didn't hear what this guy said like this guy didn't say sorry he didn't say nothing he just came one hour late from when you guys told us the plane was going to leave and you just come tell us boarding is going to be in six minutes some reason does this guy i don't know where this guy came from this guy just came how about this guy like are you guys serious are you serious that is why Camaro will never go i don't know if he was speaking in english and he was speaking in french but i don't understand french very well so he just kept shouting blah 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 blah, 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 blah. i didn't understand what he was saying for some no respect nothing no courtesy and you just come and tell us uh, body is gonna be in the next six minutes how will this country go so this, a lot of people were laughing and I'm like, okay, can you just explain what was going on? So they kept, they told me, um, the guy was just so angry how no diploma, those people do, they have no respect and whatever. I was like, okay, so this guy, that thing hurt him for him to come and all shouting and everything. So... 
we got into the plane right and um guys this plane can smell yonder babala crayfish onion jangsa hey i almost passed out the plane was so dirty like it was so dirty like oh and you know what they gave us for snacks top anana i think the bottle was this size top anana and granite granite let me put it that way Peanut was what we had. Yeah. It won't. Okay. Sorry. My problem was not what it gave us, was the yeah. smell and how dirty the plane was. Like, I was like, you guys can't even clean your plane. Like, seriously. And the plane could shake up like you. I felt like I was literally on the air with Oh my god. It was I was so scared. Like I kept praying like Lord, I will get to this place safe. I, my eyes were all closed because I didn't wanna I just felt like I was in a box and I could literally feel the air or like oh my god, it was really bad like oh, for 45 minutes. I had I, I saw my life in my, Oh god it was scary I was scared like guys I was really really scared finally we got to Bamenda and oh, mm. but you know what I was still gonna take that plane because I was not gonna enter eight hours or nine hours to go back no it was 45 minutes I said I was gonna take it so got to Bamenda, thank God I did my return flight. Bamenda people, oh yeah, you guys are trying, oh, you guys are trying because you got to security. You, the plane was on time, the flight was on time. Security people were all nice. I'm proud to say I'm a Bamenda girl, and you guys did a good job. And the flight back, it the plane was so clean. It looks like they were reading my mind. Like they actually read my mind because we my mind is up my mindset prepared myself like okay I'm gonna smell for like 35 minutes all the crayfish bubble. But I was surprised the plane was nice. The people at the airport were all pleasant and smiling it was good the flight was smooth i didn't feel all the funny shaky 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 it was good so guys i don't know that was my first experience i don't know the second one i because i had that crazy mindset and i was scared but the second flight was really good i can't complain about that flight and my road but but i mean that people I want to say I'm proud of you guys. You guys were nice. The people at the airport were pleasant. Um, you guys really did good. Your work ethic and uh, I don't know. It was good. And I really want to say I love it. Kudos to everybody that works at the airport in Bamenda. I didn't have any bad experience. I had a good time and I got to do other things. Still, thank you. Um, so for those who want to go to Bamenda, I think it's advisable you buy your ticket away. And the bad thing was, <laughs> my daddy said the plane was full. We went to the airport, we were like 50 people in that plane. So they are thieves. They are thieves. Because of light, they are dirty in Dwala, very dirty people. The plane was smelling, all kind of thing. Yep. So, if you want to buy a flight, buy a flight away earlier because it's going to be probably like 35 to 40,000, which is cheap. That means to enter in hours. I beg you, better buy that airline ticket. It's way better and it's convenient. And in, in what? Let's take a picture.